Hi everybody, Ali from Potent Printables here. So today we're going to talk about the Time Turner from Harry Potter, the manual version. So if you didn't see my last video, that involved the self-spinning Time Turner. So check that out if you're interested. I'll put a link in the description down below. For the manual version, I'm going to show you how to 3D print, paint, and assemble this so you can make one for yourself if you like. So let's start out by taking a look at the CAD. So we have a fixed outer ring. We have the middle ring, which will pivot about the horizontal axis. And then we have the inner disc, which will pivot about the vertical axis. So if I go ahead and do a section view, you can see there are dowel pins, two dowel pins on each axis in here that will get bonded into place and be free on bounded on one end and free on the other end and that will allow each axis to spin in place. So if I go ahead and do a exploded view now you can see the components in a little bit more detail. So again this is the outer ring, the fixed outer ring. This is the middle ring. This is the inner disc um, that pivots about the vertical axis. The middle ring pivots about the horizontal axis. And there's knobs that will allow you to turn and spin the middle disc. And then there's also the hourglass, which has two caps that get bonded into place. And then that, that mini assembly gets bonded into the inner disc. And then uh, the inner disc will be placed into the middle disc. The dowel pins will be placed through and bonded into place. And that whole thing will be placed into the outer discs. And those dowel pins will get put into place. And then the knobs will get bonded on. So that's basically how the uh, this will get assembled. I should also mention there's a full list of materials needed included with the, fi the STL files on Thingiverse. For example, where I got the glass hourglass. And now on the printing. All the parts then went through multiple rounds of sanding, starting with a rough grit and then moving to a fine grit. Then wood filler was used on all the parts to fill in any gaps in the printing. I really like this color change wood filler because it dries white so that you know it's cured. Then of course another round of fine sanding after the wood filler cures and I think I did another whole another round of wood filler and sanding after that as well. Here are all the parts ready for the first round of priming. After the first round of priming we still have some voids so we need to go back and do more wood filler and sanding. So after applying the wood filler as shown before I start using very fine grits of sandpapers and very fine emery boards to do the final touch-ups. I don't want to take a lot off, I'm just really trying to smooth things out. Here are the parts after the final round of priming, and now we're ready for paint. These are the parts after two rounds of painting, and now we're ready for assembly. Here I'm showing you the functioning hourglass with sand in it. It also has a rubber stopper to prevent the sand from leaking out. And then I'm showing you how the end caps will be bonded onto each end of the hourglass. And then that assembly will be bonded into the inner disc. This is just a quick look at using a clothespin to hold the hourglass and caps while they're bonding. This is the completed inner disc assembly. So the two caps have been bonded onto the hourglass and then the hourglass and caps have been bonded into the inner disc, being careful to not let the epoxy show. Now I'm bonding the inner disc into the middle ring. I've applied epoxy and now I'll be inserting the dowel pins into the correct holes. and the outer knobs that will allow you to turn the time turner get bonded on in a similar fashion. Here you can see I'm adding epoxy and then pressing the knobs onto the dowel pins. And here you can see we have the finished product. So 
so you can see that the hourglass does function, the sand flows through, and you can spin the time turner with the outer knobs, and the inner disc also spins nice and freely. So there you have it. That's how you make the time turner from Harry Potter. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'd love to hear what you guys liked and didn't like about this build, so please leave me a comment down below. If you've been enjoying my content, please subscribe, because that lets me know that I just keep making videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.